In this GeoMapApp tutorial on available data, we'll look at the contents of the Datasets menu. In GeoMapApp, the Datasets menu provides access to a very wide range of data, all of which is in tabular or spreadsheet format. Let's look at a couple of examples. To make it easier to navigate the menu structure, we'll select the Tear Off Menus option at the top here. This opens a Datasets navigation window. In this first example, let's look at earthquake data collected over three decades of time. We click the Earthquakes and Plate Boundaries menu drop-down here, select Earthquake Locations here, and choose the data set of interest. Let's pick Earthquakes with magnitudes greater than 5, once we select the name and hit the OK button, the data set will load. This particular data set contains a very large number of points and GeoMap app displays a window to alert us about this. At the global scale, a representative selection of the points will be plotted for display purposes. However, all of the records have been loaded and will be displayed as the user zooms in. So here we just hit the OK button. The dataset has loaded and as we saw in the other tutorials related to tabular data and spreadsheets, we notice that the structure of the GeoMap app window has changed. We have a toolbox of functions over on the right and at the bottom we have the table of data. In the map window, we see the earthquake locations and notice how clearly they define the plate boundaries. As a quick example, let's sort the earthquake data by magnitude by clicking the magnitude column in the table below. And we see at the top the Boxing Day earthquake in Banda Aceh here. By clicking the record in the table, the point lights up in the map here. Let's now color the symbols according to magnitude. We go to color, choose the magnitude column, hit OK. And we can change the color scale by dragging the vertical gray lines. Like this. For more information on analyzing data sets such as this, please see the other tutorials on tabular data and spreadsheets. As a second example, let's look at seafloor photographs taken aboard the Old Le Mans vessel Conrad. These are listed under the seafloor photos menu, and we select the Conrad item and hit the OK button to load the dataset. Again, we notice the new structure of the GeoMap app window with the data table listed below and the toolbox over on the right. And in this particular case, we notice some links here. If we click on one of the symbols, a thumbnail picture will be opened. And we can scroll through the data table photos by clicking the arrow buttons here, like so. And clicking on the archive link in this column will display the full resolution version of the image. As a final example of tabular datasets, we'll look at the ability to produce profiles in GeoMap app for certain datasets. In this example, we'll look at the Reed and Mantilla 1994 water column properties dataset listed here. Again, GeoMap app displays the message that there are more than 10,000 points in this dataset, and we hit the OK button. And as we've already seen in the other tutorials related to tabular data and spreadsheets, we can select a particular record by clicking in the table below to illuminate the symbol on the map, or by clicking on the map to illuminate the record in the table below. In this particular data set, the text link column here has special functionality. By clicking on one of these hyperlinks, we produce the tabular data set in a web browser window, as shown here. 
and if we use the control and shift keys at the same time as we click with the cursor, the profile is displayed like this. We can flip the y-axis to make it more familiar and we can add other graphs in this particular data set under the add graph menu here. So for example, let's add a second profile showing the salinity. Moving the cursor in the window produces a red line that allows us to directly compare the two profiles. Also, we can eliminate the most recently added graph by clicking the X here. And finally, we can save the data using the Save Data button here. More information on GeomapApp can be found at www.geomapapp.org.